So, just as a brief intro, this is what I bought. A set of case filters. I'll show you a bit more about them in a minute, but I want to show you, this is what I had before. Now, this is the case K9 filter holder, fantastic filter holder. It's got a circular polarizer in there, which is magnetic, which you can pop in and spin around. And that's fantastic. And then you can slide the square filters in here. Now that's great when you want to use grads, but you don't always want to use grads. It's not always necessary to use a grad. And up until now, when I wanted to use the polarizer, I had to get this out and screw this on just to use the polarizer. So, um, and the other thing to uh, I just show you, this is a ND filter, 10 stop ND filter, really, really good. Now the square ones fit in there and case has a, a gasket right here. So if you put it in the very last one, it seals and there's no light leakage. So fantastic, absolutely fantastic. You don't need to have anything else attached to it. But it does present a problem if you want to stack the ND filter. So if you want to put another one here, this one's sealed, but the others are not sealed. So that's a bit of a problem. Not a huge problem, but you know, if you've got a 10 stop, case also have a 15 stop. So that's all well and good if you want that. But again, I don't always want a 10 stop. You know, sometimes I want a six stop or a three stop. You know, sometimes 10 stop is too much. So um, I have a six stop Hoyer filter, which has always been very good. But as I say, I wanted to get some others. And, and also it's good to stack filters too. So let me show you what I got. So I went and purchased the Case Revolution Magnetic Circular Filters. Now you can buy them independently, of course, but Case have two really, really great kits. The entry level kit, I mean, I don't know why they call it entry level kit, is the entry level kit and the pro kit. Well, the only difference really between them is the pro kit has one more filter. So I wouldn't, I think it's not a very good name for it actually, because it makes it sound amateurish, which it's not. The entry level kit comes with a polarizer, a three stop ND and a six stop ND. And the pro kit comes with the same, but also comes with a 10 stop ND. So that's the only difference really. Everything else is pretty much the same. It comes in with this really, really handy little case, as you can see, uh, it's got a magnetic magnetic sealer at the front so you don't have to fiddle around with a with a button trying to trying to line it up you know you can just pop it down and it's done it's got this handy little hook it's got a strap at the back so you can actually uh so you can see that uh better there so you can actually hook it to your belt so you can keep it on your belt so for example you know you can hook it on your belt and you've always got access to your filters here or as i've just done You've got a hook on your tripod. My Benro tripod has a, a neat little hook here. I can hang it on there. So that's really good. I really like that. Um, but the other thing I really like about these filters is that each one is color coded. See? Silver for the circular polarizer. Blue for the three stop ND. Six stop ND, sorry. And three, sorry, that was a three stop ND, blue for the three stop and gold, yellow, whatever you want to call it, for the six stop ND. So color coded so you can easily just reach inside and grab the filter that you want by the color. And that's really, really uh, useful unless you're a bit like me and getting old and absent-minded and you tend to forget which color is for which. So the silver's for the three stop or the silver's for the six stop. Or was it gold for the circular polarizer? Oh my God, I can't remember. <laughs> so what they've also done is given you these really neat little labels here. So you get a whole pack of labels with every type of filter you can possibly get. And then you can stick the label on there 
to know with with the color as well to remind you and what type it is so the nd64 is yellow oh there we go that's the one i want or the nd8 is blue or the polarizer is silver so that's really handy for if you're like me and a bit absent-minded and you can't remember which color is which so that's really good isn't it yeah. so i really like this handy little case you can just hang it on your belt whatever grab whichever filter you want so how do they work they're magnetic and that is the thing that i really really like it comes with two rings this is the standard ring that you screw on so you just simply screw this onto the end of your lens like this once that's on nice and simple there's my circular polarizer boom it's on and when i adjust it i just turn it like this and then if i want to add a three stop nd there we go and then if i want to get a longer exposure even than that then i can stack now i've got the six stop and the three stop and the circular polarizer and I can turn them all like this really really handy and then if i'm in a rush to leave um, and i don't want to have to try and pack it all away we've got a nice lens cap to go on there as well so really really handy nice and strong you can see sometimes it's a uh, a little bit difficult <laughs> prizing them apart that's how strong these magnets are so they're really really good i love them um, so let's take them off one at a time and i can put them back in the right slots because i've got them marked that's another thing i often do is i try to have uh, a place uh, a right home for them all but i end up mixing them up especially in the dark and putting them in the wrong place and then when i try to find them the next time i'm lost so this is the standard one this is the standard ring but they also give you this inlaid ring and this is much thinner and really really good now let's screw this in so you can start by putting it in just a bit like this and then they give you this little tool here to screw it in so here we go, just line these up, line the slots, if I've got it in the right way, nope, I've got it in the wrong way. Ah. That's another thing with age, I need glasses for these things. So I've got it the wrong way around, there we go. Let's see if I got it the right way around. Line. No, I haven't got it the wrong way around, I just couldn't see. There they are. So there's these tiny little grooves here so we just have to line this up there we go that's done it and now we can screw this in right the way in there so now that's in there we can tighten it up a bit more if you want to but let's grab another it's a little bit fiddly but once you've got it in now this should stick on there there we go now I've got two on there see and one more thing I'd like to show you so you might be wondering why I didn't get the uh, get rid of these horrible things. You might be wondering why I didn't get the um, the one with the ten stop, the Pro Kit. Well, I've already got a ten stop square filter, but I can't use that one here, obviously. But I can stack the two together, so I've got a six stop and a three stop. That gives me nine stops. But as I said, I've also got a Hoya screw in filter. Now this isn't magnetic. But again, what I really like about these is that you are actually able to screw on a screw-in filter. 
So now I've got six, six, and three. So now I've got six, 12, 15 stops. Now I've got a 15 stop ND on there. So I like that too. And you just have to be careful though when you do screw them on, you don't screw them too tight and you can get them off again. <laughs> so there you have it. And they're really strong, the magnetics are strong. Sometimes it's quite difficult to prise them apart. That's how strong they are. And I can easily pop them back in their case like that. And away we go. And if I wanna remove this, I can do. Now the other thing is if I really wanted to I could also use this on the end. Now you might get vignetting problems when you start doing this. I haven't tested it properly myself yet um, and you're certainly probably not going to be able to use it when you go wide angle. Um, but uh, For example you won't need this magnetic filter there but if I wanted to use this ND and then I wanted to put a grad on after a while then you do actually fit together now like that you see so there we go As I say, I haven't fully tried and tested that yet, so I will do, and I'll update you on that. But uh, it's not really meant to go together like this, I don't think, but it can do. So, you know, in an extreme situation, it might be worth doing. So, there you go. Just thought I would uh, show you that quickly and show you Slovenia. I've just been waiting for the sun to go, so we look behind you now. Now the sun's going down, the haze is minimizing over there and I'm hoping to get a nice shot of those mountains over there. And if it does clear enough over there, I'll try to get something of Tree Love and I'll post the pictures a bit later. And I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.